Hey, good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Got a very typical day going on here today. A few showers blowing through, clouds, intermittent sunshine. Pretty much normal. Got a product review today. Portable power station from EcoFlow. And it's their River 2 model. So let's go right in and take a look at it. So here we have the EcoFlow River 2 portable power station. This is a 256 watt hour or 20 amp hour portable power station. Weighs approximately seven and a half pounds. It has a 300 watt pure sine wave inverter built into it and it can take a surge of up to 600 watts momentarily but it will produce 300 watts continuously for whatever you are running. This can be charged up four different ways. It can be charged up through this USB-C port and it can be charged up in the back with an AC wall charger and then DC cigarette lighter style charger plugs into here and you can also use this to use a solar panel and charge it with solar. So solar, a cigarette lighter style charger, an AC and then also the USB-C. Now this will charge from 0% to 100% full on the AC charge and here's it does come with the wall charger. This part right here plugs into the back. You plug this into the wall. It'll charge this unit up in one hour. It also comes with the cigarette style lighter and this plugs into that little yellow port in the back if you wanted to plug this into your car as you're going down the road. The fastest way is with the AC charger. If you charge using the USB-C port, that's a 60 watt max. That'll take approximately five hours to charge it that way. The AC charger will do it in one hour. Solar panel is limited to 110 watts and that'll take three to six hours and you would use an MC4 to an XT60 connector to tie it in there to that back port right there. That's an XT60. So off your MC4 cables off your panel with an XT60 adapter plugs right in there. The car charger here would take approximately three hours to charge it using your cigarette lighter adapter charger in your vehicle. One of the greatest features about this, besides having that amount of power available, here's the on off button. And this is a great feature right here. This LED display shows you the capacity of the battery right now. You can see it is at 100% full. And then you also have a input watts, those top zeros, and on the bottom, an output watts. So whether you're charging or discharging, it'll show you the values of what you're doing. Now, if you're using uh, a cigarette style plug-in to plug into something you're using, before you do that, you turn that on, the light comes on right there. Now this circuit is live. And it's the same thing on the AC side. Before you plug in any device AC-wise, you have to turn this on and you have to push that button there and you see the light comes on. Now it's ready. Plug in whatever device you want to use on whichever side you want to do. So we're going to turn that off and we're going to start plugging some stuff in here and I'll show you how it discharges. And before I plug it in, I'll just show you what it looks like on the top. It has this very nice carrying handle at just over seven pounds, like I said, not very uh, heavy. 
very sturdy feeling, very compact. You can toss this in your car. It's got some nice rubber mounted feet here. So it's not gonna slide across the surface. It really sticks like on this table. When I put it down and push, it does not budge. So that's kind of a nice feature too. I like that. So I'll tell you guys for the past week, we've been playing with this, discharging it fully. It does charge up to 100% full off the AC wall outlet within one hour. And I'm gonna show you a little discharge here. So here we're gonna plug in a Ryobi 18 volt lithium battery to be recharged. And as you can see, it is charging. It's pulling 44 watts right now, as indicated right there, 44 watts. And at this level of discharge, being 100% full right now, it will do this for four hours. So th that's what I just love about this, is no matter what you're doing, charging or discharging, it automatically computes what your state of charge is, what your discharge rate is, and how long you have to to discharge it. So now you can see it kind of bumped it up to five hours as it's just kind of recalibrating four to five hours. So there you know, you have plenty of time to recharge your drill. If you have this out in the uh, work area and you need to charge up one of your power tools, this is a great little thing to tote along with you to get that done. That I really like shows you exactly what you got going on. So besides the two AC ports right here, you've got a three-pronged AC and a two-pronged AC. And then you also have two USB-A ports, one here and one here. The USB-C port, which I mentioned, can be used for charging or discharging. So, this will be very popular for charging up your devices. Here, I'll stick my phone on real quick. Charging the phone. And then we can see with just the phone charging, seven watts, six watts. It's all it's taking, six, seven watts. You can do this for at least 14 hours. So you could plug in multiple devices, plug in your tablet, laptop, <clears throat> another phone, whatever. And you always know how long you've got. So there it is, 12 hours now that it's kind of settled in and reading exactly what's going on. And this is going to be great for people that are on the go, camping, traveling. Uh, you get out of the car, you take off for a hike or whatever, and you want to make sure you be able to get all the pictures on your devices, but your phone goes dead. You know, if you have packing one of these, you're good to go. And of course, out here, we've been using it as a pretend backup system. Uh, imagining the power is out and we still want to do something like watch TV. So we have it plugged into a TV and sound bar right now. As you can see right there, that's the 32 inch LED TV. They're pretty efficient, but just to give you an idea, they only, between those two devices, only pulling 28 watts. You've got a six hour runtime. Now, I have run this from 100% full as it is now, uh, down to zero, uh, watching TV or just letting the TV run. And, and it did go well over five hours. So I noticed as it got down a little bit lower, down to the 20th percentile, uh, these values changed, you know, accordingly. But there it is, you know, it just went down to 99%. But anyway, five, six hours, if you wanted to just plug this in for a TV entertainment, sit down, watch a movie or two, you got power to do that. So lots of versatility with this little thing. And you're out camping, you want to grind up some fresh coffee. You've got that, you got yourself covered right here.
you could see that was just pulling over 100 watts. Grind up your coffee, you're good. You can maybe just hear that little fan running just a little bit, and then it kicked off. Now when it's charging off the AC, that fan does run full time and the top of this gets just a little bit warm. So now the coffee is ground, you're good. <laughs> and then you wanna make sure and just turn your outlet off. It doesn't draw a huge amount if your outlets are left on, but it's best just to have them on only when you're gonna use them. So there, clicked it off, it's off 99% full. So guys, this is a great little power station, portable power station from EcoFlow. So whether you live off grid or you're going off grid for the weekend and you just want to have some lights in your tent and a few other things, charge your devices and whatnot, it is capable of way more. 300 watts of pure sine wave power and 20 amp hours. Pretty darn nice. We like it. We've had fun playing around with it, making it jump through a few hoops. I hope this gives you guys some good idea of what you can do with one of these little power stations. EcoFlow is having a, a very large sale going on right now for a Black Friday special. So you guys might want to jump on it if you've been thinking about this. We know they make lots of other devices, various sizes. This is a great little introduction to Nice little portable power station. All right, everybody. Aloha. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks to EcoFlow for sending this out. A fun, nice little project.